Hi there, my name is David Rathoff. I'm going to be showing you how to get some nice clean uh, pixel art in Unity 2D. One of the new cool features that was uh, released pretty recently is tile maps, so I've been playing around with those. And you can see here I've got a nice little scene set up here in, uh, on my canvas. And uh, the thing that was bothering me when I got into this was if you come in immediately after setting up your scene, you're going to see these lines all over the place like this. They might not be this bad, but um, different maps I've tried have had a different degree of this these lines showing up. And uh, I've seen a bunch of crazy fixes for this in the past. Uh, some of them are uh, pretty advanced things you have to do with the camera in order to kind of like lock it to a pixel perfect output, making some custom uh, textures and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So I was hoping it wasn't gonna be quite that complicated. And I just did a little bit of looking around and somebody suggested going in and making sure that anti-aliasing was turned off in the project uh, quality settings. So you can see here, uh, the default for anti-aliasing is going to be this 2x multi-sampling. And all I had to do was um, turn this off and pretty much fixed all of my problems with the uh, line showing up between tiles uh, right away. <laughs> if you're looking for where to find that um, uh, setting palette if you go to edit and you go to project settings you'll see there will be a quality uh, option down here and when you open that that's what's going to show these settings so yeah it was a pretty straightforward fix uh, I, I was also concerned that maybe when um, I actually ran the game and started um, moving my character around that those lines might show up again but you can see here I'm running it and um, everything's looking pretty good so yeah, just a nice, easy, quick fix for a common problem. Uh, it may pop up again in other ways and I may have to do something more advanced, but that at least got me running uh, pretty much right out of the gate with that. So uh, be looking forward to uh, more videos on uh, tile maps. I'll be going into a little more depth on how to use them. They're pretty cool. Um, I have to say, um, you know, just to give you a kind of a quick, uh, peek at what they look like you know you basically basically set up a tile map and import your sprites and as long as they're uh, fixed size they'll kind of show up like this and you can pretty much just pick what you want and then just start drawing over here on your maps um, I happen to have multiple maps so um, things get a little <laughs> a little more complicated when you do that I've got um, some different or sorry different uh, tile palettes as well as um, here's my tiles but anyway it there's a little more to it but yeah basically you get uh, your sprites here and you can paint with those there's some other cool things you can do too like you can um, tie a lot of the normal uh, mono behaviors to things so you could throw colliders on uh, so if you had say for example like uh, foreground um, foreground objects you could put those in one um, all in one layer essentially and uh, when you do that, you could you could basically just throw a collider on the whole thing, and anything that's on that layer is gonna, um, you know, potentially block you. So really good for things like platformers, or if you have a really nice dis uh, cl clear distinction between foreground and foreground blocking elements and other things. Um, there are some areas that I'm still trying to figure out that are gonna be a little tricky. Like, um, <laughs> you know, you could use colliders, for example, for like water, but it. Um, water walls or something like that if you wanted to for your tiles. Uh, it does get tricky though because there are situations like this where you might have water in the background that should be blocking you but you might have a foreground object that goes over the top of that and it shouldn't block you. Um, so yeah, some, still some things to figure out there. You'll notice here my uh, character is kind of bound. Um, I can't go outside of this rectangle and that's actually um, some clamping I've done to uh, tile map so that's another thing you could do is you could clamp your character down to like the world tile map so they can't go outside of that um, and same thing with your camera so anyway lots lots of little uh, nice tricks but um, this is a great new feature of unity so I'm really looking forward to playing around with that I actually threw away a lot of work I did on an old game and just kind of started over because now it's it's been made so much uh, simpler to, to do tile maps so anyway uh, look forward to that and uh, thanks for joining